Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick, easy and flexible way of installing Node.js onto your computer. Now you can just go ahead onto the Node.js website and download a package from there. However, we're going to be using a program called MVM or the Node Version Manager, which will enable us to basically install different versions of Node and switch between them whenever we feel like. So what's great about that is we can actually install the latest version of Node to check out some of the new features, but also switch back to a more stable version if we're building a project that we don't want unexpected errors in, or maybe we're getting it ready for production. So at the moment, I don't actually have Node installed on the computer here on my Windows laptop. And you can see if I try and find the version of Node or NPM that's running, um, it just tells me that the command's not installed. So what we need to do is get MVM installed on our computer. And because I'm on a Windows laptop at the moment, uh, I'll go to the GitHub repository for MVM Windows, which you can either Google or I'll put a link in the show notes below here. And you can see that it's giving you some information about what MVM is. But all we've got really is a link to the download, uh, which will basically take us to an installer to get MVM installed onto our machine. There's also a repo for uh, the Mac and Linux version, and it's a slightly different installation process, but the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that on that page. So back over at the Windows version, let's just download the mvm-setup.zip, which is actually a zip file that contains an installer, and it's quite a small download, thankfully. And inside it is just an exe file, which if we run, will run the installer and get MVM installed on this machine. So if you accept the standard terms and conditions and just click next through everything to install it. If we close down our terminal and just open up a new one. And now if I run MVM, you should see I get a list of commands available to actually install various versions of Node. And you can just type in MVM install and it will go and grab the latest version of Node.js and install it onto this machine. But you might want to actually install an older version, as I mentioned before, if you want more stability and you're not too worried about the most cutting edge features. So we can actually list out what versions of MVM or what versions of Node are available to MVM. If you type MVM list available, as a command, you can see this table gives us all the information that we need uh, to actually install one of these older versions. So for example, if we wanted to install the latest long-term support package, we can go for 8.11.4. So if I type in MVM install 8.11.4, and that will take us through the process of going out and grabbing that new, that well, LTS package and installing it onto our machine. So if we just give that a couple of minutes and it will complete that for us now. And there we go, once it's completed, uh, that node package of 8.11.4 is installed. Uh, if we type in node-v again to see what version of node we're actually using at the minute, Again, we're still getting this command not found, and that's because as the last line of that installation tells us, we need to actually tell MVM to use that particular version as well. So that will probably pop up a user account control prompt on Windows there, just to confirm that you're making an administrative change to your system. But oops, if we do no dash V, you can see there it's working already, and we can see that the version we've got installed is the one we actually specified. And also we've got NPM available to us, which is great because now we can install all those lovely NPM packages that are available on the NPM repository. So if you want to see what versions of Node you've actually got installed, you can actually just type in oh, wrong one, NVM list, and you'll see we've only got 8.11.4 installed at the moment. But to install another one, it's as simple as figuring out which packages that is that you want and then just installing the other package. So let's say we wanted 10.9. 
Awesome, so once that has completed, if we type in MVM list, we'll see we've got now two different versions of Node available to us. Of course, we're still currently running on version eight, but as the command suggests, if we just say MVM use 10.9.0 and accept the prompt for that, next time we type in Node-V, you can see we're actually using the more up-to-date version, the more cutting edge version, and we'll have all those features that are available in the version available to us. So if you're sitting here and you've watched that and you're thinking, well, that seems a lot of effort just to install Node.js, and why don't I just go over to the website and download the installer? You can do that, obviously, and you can keep the package up to date by downloading the updates. But trust me, if you're working on various different projects, it can pay to just be able to switch uh, to a different version very easily. And I don't think it's that much more complex to actually to get this up and running and installed. So there you have it, installing Node with the MVM or Node version manager. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.